good vibes is what we're going to talk about. Let's see what kind of vibes we've got going between William and Harry, and then possibly Kate and Megan. So some of you will like the uh, the theme, some of you won't, but I found when I do uh, videos on the Royals, I get lots of views. So we're gonna have this one. I hope you like the video. So if you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I have to admit, I've watched the uh, six uh, episodes of the Harry and Meghan uh, diary, I guess you could call it, and, um, and it, with, regardless of which side of this thing you're on, you should watch it and, uh, and see uh, what you think about what's being said. If you're on the royal side, you'll think it's all lies. And if you're on the um, Sussex side, you're going to think, ah, secrets have been revealed. So um, I uh, suggest that. But we're going to do a reading on those two, just off the cuff, right off the top of my head, questions um, about uh, those two families and see what the cards will reveal. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the William and Kate and Harry and Meghan special. So let's see how this uh, pans out. I thought this uh, Light Seer's Tarot would be a nice, uh, kind of crisp, kind of fresh, kind of positive uh, spin to put on this. So that's what we'll use today. These are by Chris Ann and love these uh, cards. And uh, I'll tell you more about them at the end of the video. Uh, we'll uh, do, just do a, a couple of seconds uh, on that, uh, on these cards. But so the question here is, uh, is, is, this, is this relationship irretrievably, irretrievably broken? Can this not be repaired? It's, a sad, it's sad to think of that, uh, actually, um, especially when you had two brothers who seemed to be uh, so close for so long. But uh, once they started to uh, go down their own uh, paths, of which uh, William knew what his would be, but of course Harry never had a path, did he? So we'll see what goes on here. Uh, I would recommend if you haven't seen those uh, six episodes, you probably should. And um, because trust me, whatever's uh, coming out in the tabloids that so many people are just fascinated with and these television in in interviews, listen, it's all to sell magazines and to get you to tune into the channel. That's all it is. But before we do too much, let's go ahead and have a moment of meditation. Okay. So, um, let's do one card right now. Is this relationship between Harry and his brother, William, irretrievably broken, never going to be anything close to what it was? One card. Justice. That's an interesting card. It tells me there's going to be a balance. There's going to be a, a comeuppance, uh, perhaps or um, an, an equalization of, the, of the, the cups in this thing. So it looks like there's going to be some balance like that. I do like that. Okay, so uh, let's do one card again. Is William guilty as charged by Harry? Ah, the two of swords having to make a choice. William had to make a choice. He had to go to one path or the other, and he didn't have much choice as to which way he would go. Harry. Why did Harry 
choose this this exit one card king of cups interesting the compassion so th this is a fella who is very um, compassionately um, kind of sidetracked his emotions have gotten the better of him and they always have I think and so this card is telling us look this king is is crowned that he knew uh, he wouldn't be king the only thing he could do was be king of his own emotions and compassions it was an empty well that he needed to fill interesting so let's do six cards that might become a full um, Celtic cross, diet cross that could become a full Celtic cross on William and Harry, and we'll just see what the cards say. One, two, three, four, five, and the and the the theme will be: Can there be good vibrations again? So William and Harry. Tell us some of that story, cards, and can good vibrations return? So here we have a knight of, of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The knight is uh, the fighter uh, of the royal court. This is the person who's going to take their remit, which is uh, to make an action and make it happen. And um, gosh, this is like, does it look like Megan? Does it look like Catherine? I'm not sure. But it's a signifier. So knight of wands making something happen. Okay. Ah. And then the challenge to that is this King of Wands who is definitely making the command. So this Knight of Wands who's fighting for uh, this action is uh, challenged by this King of Wands who's demanding that something happen. This is Harry. This is Megan. The Devil. Okay, so that's the basis of the whole thing. Ill intentions, um, ill feelings, um, making... Um, you can see right here that this uh, per this devil, okay, handsome devil, has this uh, person right here on a string, like a marionette, playing this puppet like a puppet. So this uh, 15 card, this devil, um, is the basis of this whole situation. Of course, we don't know if this devil is um, can be attributed more to the royal side, can be attributed more to the Sussex side, or is just... A devil in the works period but the basis of the whole thing is the devil and we'll come back and read it again and probably will make more sense then in the past of this reading is we have the five of wands which is pointless arguing okay um, indecision um, uh, throwing up a, a smoke screen it's in the past and I think what this is telling us is that the majority of this these actions that have to do with um, argument and 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 stabs uh, is in the past. Let's hope it is. In the sky of this reading, we have the star. Well, okay, that's hopeful because you want to have the star up in the sky uh, kind of giving you hope towards something uh, better and nicer that can uh, come forward in the future. So we have the star card up in the sky and then the likely outcome for the situation between Harry and his brother William is this Knight of Pentacles. And so the Knight of Pentacles, again, this is Harry, and he's going to fight for his value. We're going to do four more cards, make it a full Celtic cross. Have to. Tell us more about the story with William and Harry. The very uh, signifier of that question the, uh, is the Seven of Pentacles. And between Harry and William, William and Harry, it's has enough been done? Is there more nurturing that could, that could happen here? This is William. Looking at that, uh, that uh, this little uh, growth here that needs encouragement and uh, wondering if enough had been done. And it's interesting that these roots, these uh, bulbs under the ground are pinnacles. And so their value, they could actually be money. Has enough been done? Interesting if that were William's thought because he knows his future is set and what how he will have to live and wondering uh, was enough done perhaps to uh, set Harry off on a, um, a successful path, maybe. The um, environment that that's in, though, 
is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, uh, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Seven of Wands is kind of fending off those actions that are coming up towards you. And so this situation of, I think this is security, this is William wondering if he's done enough, and this is Harry, you could even say Megan, but this is Harry um, in, a, in a defensive mode, which makes the whole thing a bit more complicated. The hopes and the fears for all of this is the high priestess. Yeah, it's having some compassion come into this and take over and smooth over the wounds and make things better. That's what the hope is. And then the final outcome for William and Harry is, ah, this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the Eight of Swords represents kind of being trapped by all of that. But if you know your tarot, you know that you can always get out of that entrapment. It's not as tight as it looks. It's something that if you manipulate, if you work yourself, work it out, uh, you don't have to be entrapped by that. But the final outcome is that Eight of Swords. And I think it's realizing um, or a feeling that you're entrapped. And then you hope that uh, one can figure out how to overcome it. So let's read the whole thing over again. William and Harry, just tell us the story is what I've asked the cards. And they said here that the Knight of Wands is what is the signifier of this whole thing. The Knight of making an action, wanting to get something done. And is challenged by this King of Wands who is um, uh, given the order that this is how this is going to happen. I think this is Megan. She's the knight of that family. She knows how to get things done, and so that's been her role. And then with Harry, it's the uh, King of Wands making the demand that we make things right in his mind, what's right in his mind. Uh, the uh, underscore uh, of this whole thing is the devil card, and I think this plays on both sides, okay? It's uh, the devil uh, dealing with the manipulation that the palace no doubt engages in, and it's the devil of uh, the Sussexes uh, trying to uh, force uh, their hand uh, in this matter, uh, when perhaps sometimes it's, it's better just to let sleeping dogs lie. I don't know. But in the past of this reading with this Five of Wands is the past is the endless arguing, the pointless uh, battle. We're going to see that that is uh, receding into the past. And in the sky of this is we have hope. We have hope for the future. And the likely outcome is that this is Harry, is that he will be that knight who has conquered uh, his uh, remit of uh, making uh, those pinnacles uh, follow him. He got the $100 million, so they're set now. The uh, very self of that question, what's going on with William and Harry, what will happen with William and Harry, is right here. This is William looking at this uh, little uh, growth and saying, uh, I want to nurture it. Have I done enough? Is there more I could have done? And in the sky here, uh, this is uh, Harry uh, with the Seven of Wands. Seven, yeah, Seven of Wands uh, saying, um, listen, I'm here fighting off all these issues. And, uh, and uh, so I'm not even concerned about what you're doing on the other side. The uh, hopes and the fears for this is that compassion uh, rules the day with this high priestess. And then the likely outcome is that there are both sides are going to feel trapped by the situation that they're in, but they both have to realize that they can shirk those binds. They can uh, loosen them up and get out of that problem. So uh, that's uh, where we're on that. But I want to draw one more card, and I'm going to do a quick shuffle to say, will they resolve this issue ever? Will they resolve this issue ever? One card. King of Swords, truth, justice, rules, and law will reign the day eventually. So that's what we got. So regardless of how you fall on this uh, drama, uh, I hope this, this was interesting for you and it made you think uh, about uh, how these uh, families uh, maybe can get back together or maybe are just irretrievably broken. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very 
they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the... Uh, into the mode of, of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some, some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really, really nice cards. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.